Today marks the one-year anniversary of the deadly January 6th Capitol insurrection, where violent Trump supporters viciously murdered zeros of people and almost AOC. I'm reporting live in Washington at the annual reunion of those most intimately involved with the planning and execution of the attack, FBI agents. So what's it like to be back? Uh, if I was indeed present at the initial attack, which I'm not saying I was, uh, it's good to be back. What precisely was your involvement last year? I may have allegedly moved a barrier, which I didn't, but if I did, I, I then said, let's storm the Capitol, along with my colleague Steve, who I'm hypothetically happy to see again, allegedly. Right. So what lessons can we take from the January 6th events? They showed us how incredibly violent Trump supporters are mm. in our fevered imaginations. When I was allegedly pretending to be a Trump supporter, it was very, very scary. It was terrifying. I imagine that they were filled with hatred and racism as they walked calmly through the Capitol taking selfies. So what do you have planned for this reunion? Oh, we're going to throw frisbee, uh, maybe barbecue some chini. Who knows, maybe we'll get a few PBRs in us and uh, go kidnap a governor, uh, as we may have done allegedly in the past. Is there anyone at this reunion who's not an FBI agent? Um, there's Jake. Jake. I'm standing here with Trump supporter Jake, who was present at the Capitol riot. Jake, why did you decide to violently riot? Well, we were taking our orders directly from President Trump, who is still the president. When Trump said that we should protest peacefully, what I heard was murder, kill, and destroy. And when he said that we needed to show strength, I understood that to mean, of course, that we needed to go steal a podium and then leave a poop on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Wait, you did all that and they didn't arrest you? Oh, I got arrested. I spent some time in jail. Uh, but then I lied and said that I just burned down a car lot and stole some Nikes in the name of racial justice. Mm -hmm. And then they let me out uh, on parole. You know, you know, Kamala Harris, in fact, even uh, even raised some money to let me out. So, so, yeah. so generous. Yeah. Very clever. Well, there you have it. If you'd like to see more January 6th coverage, be sure to switch over to CNN, where they will be covering it continuously, forever, until the end of time. Coming up next, we go live to the somber ceremony in which Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez lays a wreath at her own grave. Well, greetings, YouTube. Beep bop, beep bop. Our reading show that you must like, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment, or you shall be destroyed. Beep bop, boop, beep bop. Is this thing on? Speak to a person. Destroy Earth. No, speak to a person.